Hi everyone, my name is Ananya Sharma and we are joined today by Vishnu who has been one of our learners at Board Infinity. So uh, Vishnu, to start off, my first question to you is what got you into the field of data science and uh, how did you, you know, decide that I want to make a transition into this field? Yeah. Yeah, actually, I got placed in Cognizant within, uh, in campus placements during my academics. But suddenly COVID came and everything was changed. Uh, days, months are passing and not getting offer letter. I mean, joining letter. So I was a bit of worried. So uh, why am I sticking to Cognizant by waiting a long time? Why I'm not sure of getting off, uh, joining letter or not. Because it's been more than seven months of my graduation and uh, didn't get my joining letter. So I thought I have to make uh, my own way by learning new skills so that it will be useful for me uh, in getting a new job. At that time, I found multiple courses, but what uh, I'm from electrical engineering. I'm not that much good in coding. So I'm, I can code in one or two languages, but if you want to code in IT industry, we have to know multiple languages, like front-end development, back-end development, and everything. I thought, uh, what I thought is this is the IT field. Uh, when I'm, I'm studying in college, I, I thought this is the IT field. But during COVID pandemic and uh, exploring courses, I found uh, data science is one of the field where we, we need uh, less coding knowledge, but uh, more intuition. So it related to business and technologies. So I felt, okay, uh, I'm, I'm even apart from uh, uh, doing my electrical engineering, we have also had family business where I was doing some marketing and uh, doing some good amount of quotations, negotiations. So I felt that uh, data science, I can be a business analyst and one day and also make uh, uh, business solutions and then by making some challenges. So I, I felt that, okay, data science is a good thing. But for, before that, uh, I had one, uh, I've taken two to three, uh, I mean, uh, guest lectures. In that one is board infinity and other, other courses, but I felt board infinity is offering a low code. I mean, low fees compared to others. And it's also startup at that time. So I felt if I join startup, so I'll have, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be getting more attention from the coaches as well because they need to show the results, right? To get uh, stabilized in the industry. So I felt board infinity is a good thing. So this uh, driven me to data science. Great. So um, all your research led you to Board Infinity, which yeah. uh, is a great news for us as an organization. Yeah. So um, my next question is a follow up of this. So how was your experience at Board Infinity like? Yeah, it's really good. Uh, initially, we had Excel module, right from Excel module. What I thought, okay, Excel, why separate module for Excel? I thought uh, I, I already prepared some quotations. So we have some math, math operations. but there is beyond that. Excel has very powerful uh, tools within the Excel. So I, 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 I learned very new things from that module itself. Right from that module, SQL, everything, everything was really awesome for me because I learned new things from them. So what I know about that module is different from what they taught. So they taught me related to industry, which is useful for my career. But what I know before uh, that is a simply basic level. I, I thought why basic level module they're giving, but it's really good thing. So they need, they, they taught really in depth. Everything they taught basic level only, basic to intermediate level, but they, it, it was really helpful. And they also provided recording. So whenever I've stuck, I've gone through recordings, I'm able to uh, uh, get the knowledge from them. So it's really good for me. Okay. So Vishnu, we also provide one-on-one -on -one mentoring, one-on-one -on -one session yeah. with our, yeah. our coaches, right? So yeah. um, one of the USPs of Code Infinity is that our coaches are industry experts. So they are from the yeah. field where you are planning to go. So how was yeah. your one-on-one -on -one mentoring experience like? And do you think it's really important to have such mentors in your life? Yeah, it's really important because we have a lot of courses in YouTube and other sources, but there's no mentoring. You just have to follow what they want. But if you, if you get any kind of doubt or if you want to uh, see how it's, they are performing in the industry, we need to definitely speak to the coach. That's, that option is not available in other courses like YouTube and everything. So. Uh, they, uh, for example, I had a mentor who is working in Flipkart and another one-on-one -on -one mentor, uh, she is working in Amazon. So they taught me how they're working, how they started their career, how they went into that field. These all things made me more passionate about the data science. So uh, the, my perspective has changed before uh, coaching sessions and after coaching sessions, I was completely different because uh, so I imagine in that in, in their shoes. So if I be in that, if I be in that place, how will I be? How will I do? How will I have to do? Everything was really 100% helpful for me. That's not the case when we go through self-paced self, self -paced courses. So it, I really admire the one-on-one uh, -on -one sessions. Right. Okay. So the next question that I have 
for you is one that I came across while I was going through your LinkedIn profile. So um, I got to know that you created a visualization dashboard using Tableau for guiding yeah. startups, right? So could you tell yeah, us a right. bit about that? Yeah, most of us will be having a dream of starting a startup, but uh, we are not sure how we like will will we be successful or not. Suppose if we have a good idea, but we don't have any funding, so whom should we approach for funds? So these are the two main things I have focused on the dashboard. If in startup people perspective, I have some idea. I want to start some telecom industry or example, an internet service provider. So in that dashboard it has every details of last five years, how that particular segment is, pro, I mean, is uh, performing. Suppose if I want to go for a telecom industry, how telecom industry is performing last five years. In every year, how the sales and volume are there. And uh, each and every day, how the trend is going? Is it uh, going upward or downward? Or uh, is it uh, neutral? So if you want to uh, establish a startup, definitely you need to choose a sector which is already always going in uptrend. If you, if you are choosing in a downtrend, because most people don't like it. So we I, either we might have to come up with new technologies or we have to be very uh, strong in that particular segment. So if we talk about normal people, so. Uh, Usually, only few people will start up with good knowledge. They will be really from good background, and only few people will get succeed. But average people and below people, they have very little knowledge, but they want to learn while moving on. In that part, they don't want to get losses. They need to uh, have good startup. In that segment, we have to choose right startup. So uh, it will be everything uh, on past five years how data is performing. Apart from that, in in those five years, which company is giving funding for which which kind of companies? What is their limit? How much uh, limit they are investing? What is the minimum and maximum limit? So within that range, if we want, to, if you are having a startup which needs one crore rupees, so we have all the uh, details of investors who are ready to invest one crore, so we can approach them and get funds from them. In in uh, investor perspective of you, suppose if you want to come up with a, a particular segment, they will see how the segment is performing in past five years. If I invest uh, one crore in this current particular field, will I really get returns or not? That thing can be uh, easily shown, shown to that investor's point of view. So both startup people and investors really good dashboard. It's, it will solve most of the startup problems uh, for basic level. Yeah. Right, and I think that's a great um, innovation and solution that um, yeah. you thought of so um, yeah. congrats on that Vishnu yeah. Thank you. Uh, yeah. so as I told you I was going through your LinkedIn profile and I got to know that you have also done a lot of certifications in a number of different yeah. areas so my yeah. question to you is do you think those certifications really help you in your current day-to-day -day of business yeah. yeah it will really be helpful because uh, during my college level I just know Python programming but after that, I, I thought of, uh, I mean, data science is all about Python. So if I know Python, I can go through data science. But that, there are, there's also SQL language and Tab and Power BI, all these things also we need to be good at. So if I stop with what I have at that moment, it's really difficult for me to move on. So if you want to stay in that field and also uh, be in a good position, you need to definitely upskill because we have Python now, Tableau now, Power BI now. After five years, that might be replaced with some other new technologies or some other new tools. So we have to be ready to learn everything. And not everything, uh, whatever we learn in that particular part, you have to be 100% good in that. So it's definitely, we need to be 100% good because till 2010, we have Java. After that, Python was introduced and it's really doing good. Now Python might be replaced in some other programming language. So we need to definitely upskill. And we have to be touching the trend because after five to 10 years, companies will think that, so why should I uh, keep you and have new, new, I mean, new people with a uh, good amount of skills. So we have to be, uh, we have to be good competition to uh, our juniors also, then only we can sustain. So definitely we need to upskill. And yeah. that certification is the one thing we have good uh, exposure compared to self learning Right. And I agree with you that upskilling is really important no matter which field you are from, what background you are from, because everything yeah. is getting updated on a daily basis. So it's best yeah. to actually know um, how the industry is changing, right? Yeah. Right. Okay. So coming to your um, interview part now, so you work at Tiger yeah. Analytics and um, yeah, right. I think everybody who's going to watch this video later would be interested in knowing what your experience during the interview session was like and what all questions were you asked? Okay. Yeah, actually, first they have given me a link for SQL exam. So they have given four SQL codes. I have, I have written them. And after that, uh, I got a mail that they have given some data set. We have to make analysis on data set and prepare good dashboard. With that dashboard, they have, they have to uh, solve few business problems they have given. 
So they gave me three days of time for that. I prepared dashboard and sent them. After that, I got a call that I'll be having an interview. In that interview, they, it, it, they split it into two parts. One, one part is completely based on my resume. It lasts about 30 minutes. So what are the projects I have done? They have asked questions in that. So I have done four projects in that. Three are, uh, two are from machine learning. One is from tab two and other is from EDA using basic Python. So they asked me about uh, completely about machine learning projects I have done. So what are the tools I have used? So why have to, why you have chosen this particular I mean uh, implementation? Why why didn't you use other models? They asked all these kinds of questions. So in that, uh, what I would like to tell is we have to be uh, while doing any project uh, in machine learning, we have to try with all possible uh, models available with us because uh, any of the uh, models will get good output. So we have to stick to that output. But if you use single out a single model. And if you do with that, you might some, uh, face some uh, negativity because why didn't you choose that one? So like that, they will ask questions. So we need to do good amount of projects with all kinds of models included. And the second part was completely about, uh, they have given one task, right? I have prepared a dashboard using tab two. Uh, they have asked some questions in the, how you prepared that dashboard? So what is the intuition behind that? Apart from uh, uh, seeing the dashboard, they're just focusing on uh, how uh, I have thought about the ideology behind that, how I'm thinking to solve the problem. Because that's the most important thing. Because I mean, anyone can create prepare dashboards and anyone can do uh, machine learning models. But how you get into that idea? Ideal is most important in data science. That's what they focus more on. That. And final round is HR round. It's obviously about negotiation. And they have, uh, I mean, uh, in depth explain about IR analytics, what they are doing, how they are performing in uh, current days. So all, all these things were covered in HR part. Okay. So um, given that your role is that of a business analyst, what I am yeah. curious to know is what does a day in the life of a business analyst looks like? What all um, yes. tasks do you have to do on a daily basis and how do you yeah. know all about them? Yeah, uh, it depends on client. Some clients, they might do uh, raw data. Directly have to prepare dashboard and solve problems from that. Few clients, they will be giving uh, data. We have to get data using APIs. So using APIs, we have to get data. We have to do that. So we need to have basic knowledge on how to get data from using APIs. Apart from that, they might also uh, ask us to pull data from SQL. So SQL Tableau. Uh, in that Excel data, sometimes we have to do EDA also. The data will not be clean every time. So we have to perform some cleaning on the data. So we need to have an uh, idea on Python and how to uh, clean the data using Python. So that will uh, solve the task. It's not about daily. They will be giving some particular time for that. Within that time frame, we have to uh, complete that task. It's a mix of SQL, Python, and Tableau. Some clients are asking about Power BI, but I'm not sure of Power BI. I'm learning that one. So maybe in the next product, I can use Power BI. And now I'm using Tableau. Tableau, SQL, and Python. These are the things I'm playing around. OK. Uh, so Vishnu, if I have to ask you, how do you think that you have changed in your professional capacity? from when the course started to the to when the course ended. So what all yeah. skills do you think you have learned? And uh, do you think that the change is very prominent and the change is very good from before when you started the uh, course? Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's really good. Before joining uh, Board Infinity, I just sold a couple of offers, one from TCS and Cognizant. But what I thought is IT industry is all about coding and we have to code day, all the day. And, we have to attend some business meetings to extend our course. This, this is a thing I know about IT industry, but I'm not sure how it's going to be. But uh, uh, from coaches experience in board infinity, I thought, no, what I thought about IT industry is completely different. It's just a, a few, uh, some, I mean, at least 20% of part. Remaining 80% is all about business operations, how to improve business, how to improve scalability, all these things. So these things, how we can come, we can only come up by having, if you have data in hand and you have, uh, you have to make some changes. So some changes in the strategies and everything. All these things, this can come up when you think in kind of business perspective. So this, this uh, ideology and this thinking, I was able to do by uh, course in board equity. Apart from that, they gave some projects. Each and every module, they have, they have projects. By doing that projects, my my thinking was changed. So I have to think in all the perspectives, not to not a step, but one on one on way. So we have to think in all dimensions and, and get possible outcomes. So uh, my thinking was improved. And professionally, uh, my communication has also improved because uh, I have to explain my uh, projects. We have evaluation sessions. In that evaluation session, we have to explain the project. So both communication as well as my uh, business skills were improved in, uh, entirely from board and trade. So I have seen a lot of changes. Yeah. I, and one more thing, the thing, uh, reason I got placed is mainly of Tableau, how the work I have done using Tableau. I don't know what is Tableau before board and I don't even know about that. 
but uh, i got to know about that they, i have around one month of time for able module in that i have done some uh, in that time only i did startup uh, i told you right startup uh, guidance i did the crash course that helped me to uh, be in part of tiger now at the moment right okay so uh, vishnu before ending this session one last question that i have for you yeah. is that um, you have been through this journey you have seen the ups and downs and you are at a position yeah. uh, where a lot of people are planning to go to but they're completely hesitant right now that like, should i go for this course should i go for this direction in my professional journey right now so yeah. what um advice would you like to give to um such people who are in a uh, very confused and uh, in a state of dilemma right now yeah so how what i have seen is uh, in data science we have multiple things machine learning deep learning computer vision everything so what uh, as a fresher what we we'll think is even i think i thought in the same way so as a data science we have to be perfect in machine learning deep learning computer vision uh, whatever things are there we have to be good in everything what I, that that thing i thought but it's really impossible for us to be uh, perfect in all the things what we do we we take one uh, sql module we learn about a bit in that and we just move to next module and we'll uh, learn basics from that but this is not going to help us because uh, if you want to crack an exam definitely all all organizations are keeping exams for that so we need to uh, write code in that so that coding we can only be able to get by using practice that practice can be uh, we can get that by doing some projects if you have done some uh, python uh, python module is completed we have to do some more um, projects apart from more related because they will do some projects that's really good but if you do extra effort from your end from each and every person it's not like the uh, it's not uh, syllabus is not particularly fixed so you have to learn only this particular thing to get job that's not in case of data science like any any job so we have to be Uh, really good at um, whatever we learned. We should be at least eighty to ninety percent confident on that one. So we need to do some projects on that one. Just about apart from doing just projects, we have to do some uh, hacker rank challenge questions because that will crack us how to uh, do code in less number less time because it's a time frame that means we have to do one code. So in that uh, timing, we can only get by doing practice. So a lot of practice has to be done apart from learning. So. mostly we are they are not able to crack the exam and not able to get the job because they are not doing a much amount of practice so it's a it's a kind of 30% theoretical knowledge 70% practical knowledge it is this i don't follow it should be there for getting a job right and i think that was a very good advice and anybody who listens to this and actually applies that to their um, real life that would really help them in their professional capacity So with yeah. that, Vishnu, I come to the end of this session. And before um, you know concluding this session, I want to thank you for uh, joining in and sharing all your experiences and your learnings with us. Because I'm sure that anybody who watches this session is going to take a lot from this and implement yeah. that in their life as well. Yeah, right. Thank you, Vishnu. Yeah, thank you, Dad.